Let's get into the question of the day. Today's question of the day is going to take a look at two amateur figure competitors. And I want to take a look at their physiques, critique them so that way you get to see what these competitors may need to do to win their shows and to do better in the division. And you might be able to see some correlations with where you are as well. So let's go ahead and get into our first physique evaluation. We got a competitor here who's stepping on the figure stage in about four days from this photo. So this particular competitor is fantastic. I think she has an excellent shape and she has a good genetic base for what it takes to do well in figure. Now, I don't know what federation she's going into, whether she's going to the NPC, the OCB, the IFPA, all these different federations that there, that there are. The one thing that she's gonna have to do if she plans to go forward in the sport is to put on more muscle. She's got a small frame and she's looking a little bit thin, if I can be honest with you. She's got great quads, really nice quad sweep. She really needs to build up her back to go ahead and bring out her lats more. So doing more lat pull downs, mastering pull-ups, doing all kinds of rows, that's gonna thicken up her back quite a bit. And also she needs to cap out her shoulders more, particularly when we talk the rear head just a bit and the lateral head for her as well. She's got a tiny waist and that's really a great asset for every single competitor. And when you turn around to the back, she, her glutes, she needs more size on the glutes. She also needs more hamstrings as well. So again, overall size for this competitor. She's in pretty good conditioning from the front. Now, a lot of ladies, a lot of you out there have issues bringing in the conditioning in the back. And we're kind of seeing this with this particular athlete where right at her glute hand tie-in, that needs to be a lot tighter. And to be honest with you, for so many competitors who are a little bit on the smaller side, the more muscle that you have, the leaner and harder you're going to look when you get to that point of the last few weeks of your show. Now, I should preface this by saying that you won't necessarily look leaner unless you're actually lean, but it's easier to look harder and to have more muscle and, and to look just more conditioned when you have more muscle on your body and you learn how to pose correctly. So for this competitor, fantastic. Where she is right now, I'm not sure where she could place, but I would say that if she were going to go ahead into a natural show, she would probably do really well. If she went into a show like the NPC or something like that, she might definitely be outsized. So it's important for you to know what federations you're competing in and what the judges look for. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next competitor. This contest prep stuff is so exciting, but listen, it could be a little confusing, especially if you've never done this before and you wanna know where to start and you wanna do it the healthy way. Go ahead and check out my free contest prep crash course. Let me give you my best secrets about what it takes to train, to diet, and to get the mindset right where it needs to be to go in and dominate on that stage. Scan the QR code that you see right here on the screen or click the link down below and I'll see you over there, honey. 11 weeks out from my first figure show. Show here is seven weeks of progress heading into a bit of a maintenance phase for the next few weeks as I'm ahead of schedule. She's got a nice straight for someone who's first time out great physique, great base. And this is where we start to see how genetics plays into how you look and what division you should choose. She's got a great hourglass physique. She's definitely going to need to put on more muscle if she decides to go ahead and do this, this sport just as a hobby. I would say for her, Putting on back again, same thing with her back, a little bit more shoulders. She definitely is going to need more quad sweep as well. And just overall, she just needs some muscle on her entire frame. Now let's turn her around to the back because we do have a back shot for her where you can kind of see that her upper half on her back, it doesn't have as much mass, let's say, as her lower half. Lower half is overpowering and dominating when she turns to the back is overpowering her upper body. And she's also not in condition just yet, which makes what she said about pumping the brakes on her diet and training very interesting. She's making a huge mistake in that. 
she's going to want to make sure that she keeps going with her fat loss. And with so many competitors, this is a very common thing. You think that, oh, I'm ahead of schedule or I'm looking good. So let me go ahead and just let me pump the brakes just a little bit. Let me go ahead and just take it down a notch. Let me go ahead and just have that extra cheat meal. You can't do that. A lot of times that's what's holding you back from actually seeing the progress that you need to have. For this particular competitor, she's not lean enough just yet and she's got to get leaner. So that means she's got to push even more in her diet and in her training to bring that shape together. So that last seven weeks, you guys, is very important in the world of contest prep. The last couple of weeks going into that show is where you want to really push it in. And if you are going to pump the brakes, you want to start pumping the brakes right around your peak week where you can relax more into the show. You can change up your diet to make sure that you are peaking right on time for that Saturday morning show. Usually shows are on Saturday or whatever day your show is. And you can start to wind down your training at that time. But seven weeks out should be the time that you are pushing even harder because you've got to get lean. The judges are looking for leanness. The judges are looking for symmetry. The judges are looking for conditioning in the current climate when it comes to fitness or rather when it comes to competing. So you want to bring that A game. Don't pump the brakes, girl. You got to keep it going. If you like this clip, you'll love the full conversation even more. Watch that video right here or click the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below.